With the whole media shit show going on now about the 24 election and a recent assassination attempt, three things came to mind. The first incident was a report of a plane dumping fuel over the city of Los Angeles. Planes do it all the time. Doing it over a populated area is the only thing different. Let's see how Mike Tyson handles the story. Now to the demand for answers after that Delta jet dumped fuel over multiple Los Angeles schools, injuring dozens of students and adults. Jackie, Zachary Keish has new details. The dramatic moment, a Delta jet preparing for an emergency landing, sprays thousands of gallons of fuel over a string of Los Angeles elementary schools. There were kids outside on the playground when that toxic fuel rained down in a mist. Dozens of people, including elementary school children, were treated by paramedics this afternoon after a plane approaching LAX dumped fuel on several schools. LA County fire officials say 60 people were exposed to jet fuel at six different schools. Paramedics treated everyone for minor injuries, and so far no one's been hospitalized. The FAA is investigating why a Delta flight with engine trouble dumped jet fuel over a five-mile swath of Los Angeles, dousing dozens of children at several schools with toxic fuel. CNN's Nick Watt is live in L.A. with more. So how did this happen, Nick? Those aren't vapor trails, that's jet fuel. Enough to fly all the way to Shanghai, dumped from low altitude over one of the most populous cities in the country. A plane was coming over and it was throwing gasoline. The fuel hit six schools and 60 people here at Park Avenue Elementary. Kids were out on the playground. I was so scared so that we just went inside. <laughs> and then my eyes started itching. And then... So I came into the auditorium. 20 kids here were hit. They were confused, panicked. One kid said it felt like rain, but he couldn't see any clouds. It got in my eye, and I, I'm, getting, I'm blurred. So there's a lot of things that I could say about this particular video, but the one thing that really stuck out to me was the change in lighting. So from the time that the plane is flying over until they got the people giving their interviews, a few hours have passed. So that it indicates to me that these people hung around to give a statement after the media probably asked them to do so in what they're purporting to be a contaminated area. Hi, Albert. Uh, then we have this guy from the Weather Channel and this lady in the canoe. Okay, uh, picking it up here in Wilmington, North Carolina, right at the Intracoastal, and we're in one of these bands. Good morning. Well, obviously we're getting a nice break from the rain, but not the flooding. This is essentially now a part of the Passaic River in this neighborhood. It rushed in yesterday through the... And then we've also got this shit with COVID. It was the media who told people to go out and start hoarding toilet paper and so on and so forth. I'm pretty sure that if I went into a movie theater and yelled fire and incited to panic, I'd go to fucking jail for it. It's totally okay for the media to do the same goddamn thing. So really the point of the whole video is that if these people are willing to go to these links to lie about trivial shit, then what the fuck else are they lying about when it comes to actual serious issues? Chris, I feel like uh, I'm feeling the backwash of a jet engine 